In this problem, we have to find a horizontal velocity of the tennis ball at point A so that it just clears the net at point B. And also, we have to find the distance as where the ball strikes the ground. So it is basically the distance between points B and C. So let's first find the time that the ball takes from point A to B and from point A to C. So we are using the vertical motion of the ball. So here the initial velocity of the ball is zero because at point A the ball is at rest position. And its initial position is 7.5 feet because you see that the ball is 7.5 feet above from the ground and at point B it has a final position of 3 feet and this ball is 3 feet above from the ground. So to find the time that the ball takes from point A to B we are using the second equation of motion so here you see that we have a final position of 3 feet initial position of 7.5 feet and uh, initial velocity of z is zero so if we multiply it with time so we again get zero and here the value of acceleration due to gravity is minus 32.2 feet per second scale so here the negative sign represents that the motion of the ball is in the vertical downward direction so through this we get our first time that is 0 0.5287 seconds so to find the time that the ball takes from point a to c we are again using the second equation of motion so the only difference in the values in this equation is that uh, we have a final position of zero because at point C the ball hits the ground. So uh, we get our second time that is 0 0.6825 seconds. So to find the velocity we are taking the horizontal motion of the ball. So here the initial horizontal position is zero while the ball covers a distance of 21 feet to reach point B. So its final uh, horizontal position is 21 feet. And the time it takes from point A to B is 0 0.5287 second. So now we are using the first equation of motion. So here uh, the final position is 21 feet. The initial position is zero. And we have initial velocity that is Va. And the time is 0 0.5287. So we get the velocity of the tennis ball at point A that is 39.72 feet per second. Or you can also write it 39.7 feet per second. So now to find a distance as we are again using the first equation of motion and you see here initial position is still zero while the final position becomes 21 plus s bit and here the time is 0 0.6825 second so through this we get that distance s that is 6.11 feet